yes, you should also know that I like talking about some of the lesser funded sports that we have here in Ghana, which I actually like a lot more than football. Uh, today we're going to be talking about weightlifting and with me today I have Husseini Akute Adi, uh, Dora Afiabochi and Majeti Fitri. Did I get those right? Yes. 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 All right, great. Good morning to you all and welcome to New Day. Um, Dora, how are you? Fine. Dora has actually done really well for Ghana at the moment. Um, the Black Cranes, which is Ghana's weightlifting team, um, were represented in the Commonwealth Games this year. And Dora, how did you do? Not cool. Africa Championships. African Championships. Okay, sorry. I and placed it. You placed it. Yeah. So you brought some... Some bronze medals back home to Ghana. Yes. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, how was the tournament? It was fun. Fun? Yeah, it was a little tough, but it was good. Yeah. What was the weight that you, you lifted? I snatched 80 and I jacked 100. You snatched 80 and you jacked 100? Yes. Wow. Okay. Um, you're going to have to give us some... Uh, uh, well, let's go to the coach, actually. Um, tell us about the snatching and the jacking. Because I, I know what it looks like, uh, but explaining it is another thing altogether. Well, um, snatch event is one way, and uh, clean and jack is uh, two ways. You have to put the weight in the shoulder before maybe pushing the weight up. That's what they call uh, clean and jack. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's so you did 80 kilos yes. for that. That's me. I'm 80 kilos. <laughs> you basically should be lifting me above your head. Oh, wow. The 80 snatch. That's the snatch, okay. Yes, and the jack is 100 kilos. 100 kilos. Oh, so I'm small chops for you, Kra. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Okay, um, Husseini, um, tell us more about what's happening with weightlifting here in Ghana at the moment. Well, weightlifting is, is doing very good. If you compare what we, the situation now to what prevailed about four years ago, you can tell that there's a remarkable improvement. In 2010, that is four years ago, the athletes were training at the condition uh, complex. They were training in the open. Mm -hmm. And weightlifting is an indoor sport. That's right. So, uh, 2012, we succeeded in the sending them to the class stadium where they are, I mean, they are training in an enclosed environment. It's not too good. Right. But fortunately, uh, the current executive we are putting up a, a new uh, weightlifting gym, mm -hmm. which should be ready by May, and uh, that should give the, the, the athletes the best of environment, the best of facility to train with. Mm -hmm. So, it, 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 I mean, the the situation for now is very, very good. How many medals in total did we bring home from the, the game? Well, uh, you mean the Morocco Morocco yes. tournament? A total of 19. 19. 19. One athlete, uh, Juliana Ako, had nine medals. Wow. Six silver medals and three bronze medals. Wow. Uh, Afi Abuchi had, uh, sorry, two. Two, bronze two, two, two bronze medals. Uh, Ruth Bafo had six, six. bronze medals and uh, two Philostaki plus 104 kilograms had uh, three bronze medals. Wow. So, I mean, with, with the fact that we are we're actually making some headway in weightlifting and we're actually getting some medals underneath our belts. Why is it that it's so hard to get the government or the sports council to help you guys out in your facilities? Well, uh, events became different from last year. Last year, almost all the sporting displays were having problems with uh, funding, especially from government. Yeah. What we did as an association is to look outside government circles. So, for, for example, the tournament that they attended in Morocco, it was solely funded by the Federation from help uh, from uh, companies like Goyle, mm. uh, Royal Bank, Techno Mobile, uh, and uh, Berlin Sports. They kit our athletes with their new brand of egg products. Mm -hmm. So, basically, if we say we are going to depend too much on government, we won't be going anywhere. We must be very innovative. We must uh, have uh, competent marketing persons and uh, PR persons to do those, uh, I mean, magic for us. Chasu mm -hmm. be of APFM is our communication director, and he has helped us a lot with the, I mean, uh, marketing the sport and uh, whipping up public interest mm -hmm. in it. And that, I think, 
enable us to get this support from these corporate bodies that I've just mentioned. Okay. Um, well done um, for getting this far. Now, um, in regards to um, the, the tournament uh, that we just attended, I heard that we got I got here that we we won the most. Well, we were judged the most disciplined side. Is that correct? Exactly. Um, what what goes into being judged as the most disciplined? Who can I do that? Uh, well, <coughs> in on weightlifting, uh, it's a very different discipline sport, and. Um, we strongly believe that uh, as we went for the competitions, well, we were judged for doing well in the competition. So I strongly believe that uh, uh, we'll do more. And uh, I believe the associations also will help us so that we can be able to win more lorries mm -hmm. for the country. So nice I think so. yeah. What's next? Uh, what's the next tournament that you have coming up? Yes, we're looking out for the, co the up uh, upcoming co uh, Commonwealth Games in uh, Scotland. Scotland mm -hmm. yeah. okay. There's a major tournament ahead of us, even though they are little tournament that will predate that one. But those are junior and youth events. Okay. And we have some of our, of our youth, youth uh, athletes who are part of the Commonwealth uh, team. So are you going again? Of course. Yes. Of course. Okay, so how, how are you preparing for the next tournament? I'm training, I'm training hard, and I, I'm training seriously, and I know by God's grace, he will let me go and come back empty-handed. Empty-handed, go and bring some more medals for us. Thank you ever so much for you guys coming in. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to Husseini, uh, Dora, and Majetio for coming in this morning, and uh, teaching us more about weightlifting, and hopefully raising some public interest in it as well. And please... This is my personal appeal to the Ghana government. If you see people like Dora, they're bringing home medals. Please embrace the sport and put some more funding behind it. We'll be back in just a few moments with